Hi everyone, can everybody hear me and see me okay? Happy December and happy Tuesday. I know I haven't been on this month. Today's my first time coming on. For some reason I thought I was on last week, but I wasn't. I've been so like behind with the holidays, it's just crazy. But can everybody hear me and see me okay? Um, let me know in the chat. Yay, thank you, thank you. Hi Pam. Thank you. Oh my God, I miss you guys too. Um, I'm so excited to be here. There's so much stuff that I want to show you guys. Um, today we're going to be working on this December album that is super heavy, if you can tell. But it is gorgeous, beautiful. I love it. I am in love with it. This is the first time I actually make a, a December type of album. I'm always like so like worrying about December and that everybody's just crazy going, 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 shopping and doing all this stuff. I love Christmas, don't get me wrong, but I never have time to scrap Christmas. It's always one of those things. So I thought to myself, okay, this year I want to make an album to put all of my photos in there. Even if I don't scrapbook them on a scrapbook page, I could put them on an album. And as you can tell, this, this can be Christmas related or it could be winter related. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, about Christmas. It could be about winter, um, you know, or it could be about the holidays. So hi, Paul. Um, so yeah, so I mean, that's why I love it so much because it, it's so versatile um, and you can add so much to it and it's beautiful. I just love it. Um, so that's what we're going to be working on today. But before that, I wanted to show you guys my ornament I made. Um, so this ornament, I thought about my, my aunt has a rustic tree. She has all these like really old style ornaments that are like made out of wood and like bark and like lace and, and it's just a really old tree. Um, so I thought I made, I would make one for her. I made this one here. So what I did is I took a styrofoam um, ornament or you could also use a glass ornament, which is what I used here. And I used some of our Prima lace I don't know if you guys could see that, and covered it in lace. This is the lace I used. This is item number 545420. So I used some Prima lace, and then I used some of our Jubilee flowers that um, are so beautiful and gold and nice. Um, those are the Jubilee flowers, and those are these here. Um, of course, it's missing some of them, but this is um, 571979. And then I also use some of the Bella, the Bella flowers. There's um, a Bella up there. And those are these. And these are um, 570972. I also used some of the leaves that I used last time. I don't know if you guys remember the last ornament I made, the Aglow Mica 553494. So I went ahead and wrapped the lace around the ornament. And I also sprayed it with some gold. I don't know if you guys could see that. You probably can't see that, but it's really glimmering. I sprayed it with some gold mist. And I went ahead and, and glued the flowers down. And just made a little ornament. I mean, it's really easy and simple and cute. Um, and of course, I love gold, so I always add a gold to everything. But this is a really cute ornament to have um, and to give away. So that's a really little quick tip there um, for you guys. And I'm going to be posting a photo of that um, on my blog as well. Um, so watch out for that. And okay, so let me show you guys what we're going to be using today for this lovely project have all of my supplies here and um, we're gonna be using this Donna Downey peonies poppies and peonies album this is 921989 when I saw this album I just fell in love I was just like oh my god it's so cute um, I just love the writing and it's, it's made out of canvas so really cute and we're gonna be using some flowers and some embellishments we're going to be using the pebbles. I love these pebbles. These are the larger ones. These are 570613. Really, really cute. And then we're going to be using the smaller ones. And these are 570620. And these are the smaller size. So we're going to be using those. We're also going to be using the Poppies and Peonies um, little banners. Oh my god, these banners are too darn cute. Um, these are 921910, and these are the ones that have, like, the printed, um, you know, words on them. So those are the cutest things ever. We're also going to be using these mechanicals um, clocks, 961084. I like these. Hello, everybody. And then we're going to be using these leaves. These are the Splendor Winter, and look at how glimmery those are. 
these are 553609. Really, really cute. I love those. I love anything glimmery. We're going to be using these. Um, Nieve 571269. I know some people out there are getting a lot of nieve, a lot of snow. So stay warm if you're getting snow. I know it may be very cold. It's cold here in California. And we're like, oh my God, it's so cold. But I love it. I love winter. We're going to be using these here. Clara. 571085. Very, very beautiful. We're going to be using these. Latella 571153. I love these. These are super cute as well. Very lacy. And then we're going to be using these, which are Serenity 571351. I really like these. These are really cute. The colors are stunning. And then these, which are my personal favorite, um, Interlude White, 561383. These are like, I, 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 I hoard these. These are like my favorite roses ever because they have so much glittery goodness in them. And then we're going to be using these here, these resins. And these are um, the clock resins, um, 569969. These are really, really cute. And then... These crystals are like my favorite too, and I heart these as well. These are um, 551490. They're these really pretty faceted crystals. Really pretty. And then we're going to be using this alphabet here, and this is the 569792. This is a canvas alphabet in white. Really love this font. And I think that's it. That's all we're going to be using. And if you just joined us, um, here's the book we're going to be making. December album. Really, really cute. Okay. And I'm going to get started. Any questions before I go ahead and start? Jerry Van Gent is on. Hello, Jerry. I love Jerry. She's so cute. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm going to pan the camera down here. Okay, good. And I want to unpack this album. And it comes packed pretty well. I had a hard time opening it when I first got it, but now I figured it out. Okay, I'm gonna remove this little protective sleeve. And you wanna untie the album because we're only gonna be working on the cover today. So we don't wanna mess up any of the inside parts. And inside you get um, a lot of pages actually, you get um, tons of these plastic pages. You get one, two, three, four, five of them. And then you get one, two, three, four, five of the canvas ones. So a lot of a lot of space inside for pictures and a lot of creativity um, that you can do inside of that book. So then we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna be working on this cover part with this with these roses. Okay. And then what we're gonna need first is we're gonna need some gesso. Okay, I'm going to be using some Studio Helmet Gesso. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and cover up some of this redness. Um, you know, I love the paleness of, you know, everybody says that I, I use um, too much white and too much brown. But that's really what I like. I, I love just the really pale, you know, neutral colors. These reds and these whites, they... Drive me nuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover those flowers with some gesso. And you just wanna give it a quick swipe, nothing too crazy. Just wanna cover up some of the, the roses there. You wanna just do it all throughout the cover. And just go ahead and cover up those flowers there. Those, I think they're poppies, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what they are. Hello, Anna. Welcome. And welcome to anybody that has not joined us before. Thanks for coming to the show today. We're working on a December album. Perfect for all your holiday photos and all of that good stuff. I hope everybody's done with their Christmas shopping. I know I'm not done. 
just started, but it's getting there, right? I actually like going shopping, so it's not too bad. Yes, I'm at the Prima Studio. <laughs> I love the Prima Studio. Janelle was here a couple of weeks ago. She saw the Prima Studio. Okay, like I said, it doesn't have to be completely washed out, but just enough to cover up all that red. Okay, that looks perfect. And then I'm going to put some on the other side just because we want to kind of have it match just to kind of get that white effect on there. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it just gives it a kind of like a snowy effect. And I like the material because it's canvas, so it's really sturdy. Could take a lot of your mediums and paints and all that good stuff if you missed it. Put some at the bottom here. I'm gonna put some in the middle. Just needs a little bit. I'll take this giant brush here and just kind of wipe some of that excess gesso out. Just to kind of blend it all in there. Just gonna do the same over here. Just to make sure there's no excess. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dry this with my heat tool. And this dries pretty, pretty quickly. So you don't have to worry about it being forever to dry. I quite like working with canvas. Okay. And if you guys are looking for a really interesting, like, original Christmas gift, this would be a very good gift to give someone. Okay, now we're going to be working with some matte gel. Okay. And the reason you want to use matte gel is because... It's not clear, it's, it's matte. And we're gonna go ahead and spread this like a cake. That's the way I kind of I kind of was picturing it when I was doing it. I'm like, oh, it's kind of like, like you're doing a cake. So you just wanna spread some on the cover evenly. And if I was a cake maker, I would totally, totally stink at it, obviously. I'm using a little spatula here. So we're using some matte gel to put some on the cover. So a little piece in there. A dry piece. Make sure it's nice and even. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be a very good cake decorator, to be honest. It, you know, I would get fired the first day. So, there you go. I'm trying, though. I'm trying. Okay. 
You can also use gloss gel, but I I, I just like this one because it kind of gives it a matte finish. I don't want it to be clear or glossy. Okay. So I'm gonna wipe that off. Are we were were we talking about cakes? Oh my god, see? Perfect moment for that. I'm gonna take out my little mat here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this diamond dust. I love using this stuff, it's great. Um, it's just glass glitter. And I'm gonna take my little container here. And I'm gonna take a spoon and just gonna sprinkle some of this um, glitter on top of there. Top of all of that. Make sure it's nice and nicely coated. It's like we're adding sugar now to our to our album, to our cake. <laughs> See, we always end up talking about food here. I don't know why. Okay, now you want to just kind of put the excess back into this little container. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside really quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back into the container. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so we went ahead and put the diamond dust on the cover. So now we're gonna go ahead and take something, just anything, and we're gonna go ahead and press really hard to make sure that all that diamond dust sticks. Because some of it might just, you know, not stick completely. So we just wanna make sure that that sticks. I think I missed a little spot here, so I'm just gonna take some extra dust here. Just missed a little spot. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just dry it really quick. And of course, you're not going to dry the whole thing now. It will probably take a few minutes to dry, but you know, while it's drying, it's nice to kind of give it some help while you're working on it. That way it doesn't fall apart. Okay. So now we're going to go to our pebble part. Okay. going to take out some of our pebbles here. I'm going to take some of the large ones out. Yes, be careful with the glass because some of it may be spiky. Um, I just remove them from the edges just so when you're holding it, you're not, um, you know, you don't get hurt. Yes, I use um, matte gel. That's what I used on top of it. And you want to put a little thin coat, okay? You don't want to put too much um, because you don't want it to be too thick. Otherwise, it'll take ages to dry. But this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? Like, it's like a winter wonderland. 
And see how well that covers up the those flowers? Because those flowers didn't really go to begin with, so. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting our pebbles, and guess what? We're gonna be using hot glue for this step. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot glue on there. And I'm gonna randomly start putting them and pressing them onto the gel medium. And I'm gonna start putting different sizes on there. Just in the center section, obviously, just to kind of get some You want to just kind of have them in assorted sizes. Just press them on, and yes, they will stick. I like these pebbles, they're great. Great for any project. Oh, and I need to save one of these big ones for something. So I'll just put that aside. Looking lovely already. The hot glue really helps them stay on. And then since you have the gel medium down at the bottom, once it dries, it'll be like concrete. It will not come off. I mean, they will, but only if you try to pull them off. So I'm just putting these on here. I think this was my favorite part because it was like a puzzle. Just trying to fit in all of these pebbles in there. And there's two different sizes that these come in, so whatever size you have works. You can use a small size, a big size. Does it matter? I kind of like both sizes mixed together. Just looks so much better. Let me grab another glue stick here really quick. This hot glue gun is like super hot. I like it, but it's hot. Well, I guess it's supposed to be hot, right? It's a hot glue gun, but still. Okay. You want to put some towards the corner as well, just so they kind of stick out a little bit. I know, they would make cute bubbles in a bathtub. That's a good idea. Okay. Almost done here. Just adding a few more. Take out some more. 
can't prepare in case I ran out of bubbles. I think I'll be good with these. Using some more of the smaller ones. Yeah, these are fun to add dimension to your projects. If you want to focus on a particular embellishment, if you want to make your own embellishment as well, if you guys remember those old epoxy stickers that they used to make with the little domes on them, you can make your own embellishments. That's always fun. Try to put one up here. Okay. And I think we're good on the pebbles. Might put one more up here. Just for kicks. See, I get carried away with this. Could add and add and add forever. Put some more here. Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna save these. I might need to remove this one here because I just remember we need to put a title on there. So. Um, we need to put December down there, so I'm going to put this one somewhere else. Um, probably up here. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Very glimmery and pretty. Okay. I love the way they feel. So cute. Okay, I might just put a little tiny one in there, a little spot. I think if we put a tiny one in there, our title will still fit. So I'll put a tiny one in there. There we go. That's fine. Okay, these are um, plastic bubbles. So now we're going to go ahead and put our flowers on. i um, going to start working with some of these roses. Um, I'm going to start with this one here which is the Clara flower I love these I'm gonna use the white one and what you want to do is when you get um, your flowers they usually come um, flat like this and that's just because of the packaging so you just want to kind of work the petals and kind of scrunch them up a little bit just kind of fix them up make it look a little bit more alive and then what I do is I just kind of go like this I scrunch it up and then I put my glue, my hot glue, on the bottom. And then I stick it on there and then press it down. And see, once I let it go, see how it looks nice and pretty? Okay, next I'm going to put some of these. And this is the same thing. I'm going to put a medium one and a small one. Gonna take this medium one here, just scrunch it up. And then I'm gonna just put some glue in the bottom. Gonna put it right next to that one. Just like that. We're gonna take this white serenity. I'm going to put that one up here. Just going to go ahead and press it on there. And then I have some of these little pretty nieve roses. I'm just going to squeeze some in there. Coming along, coming along. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the other one here. I'm going to put that on over here. And again, I'm going to scrunch it up first. I'm going to put it right there. And I like this one here. And I'm going to put this one kind of like that. And when you're working with your flowers, you always want to kind of use them to your advantage. You can push other flowers upward like that so to make them look more alive so you can always push them up so it helps to put them right next to each other that just kind of helps and just scrunch them up like that Very pretty. And then I'm going to take some roses and I'm going to do some filler work in here in a second. But before I do that, I want to take my timepiece, the large one. And I'm going to go ahead and take my gesso and I'm going to just go ahead and paint the clock. Just lightly brush it. You want it to look nice and wintry. Getting a little bit of gesso here just to kind of make it look a little bit more wintry. Love this clock, it would be a cute jewelry piece too. Put that down. Okay, and then I'm going to give it a quick dry. Yes, we're painting the clock with some gesso, just white gesso. And I'm going to put some hot glue on the back of this clock. I'm going to stick it down right in the center. Just like that. I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit. And while that's drying, I'm gonna take my resin. I'm gonna take this clock. And then we're gonna take some foam squares. And I'm gonna put some on the back of this. Um, I needed to double them up, so I'm going to go ahead and put two on there. Well, Shanna, you are right. I am covering up most of the pebbles, but whenever I, t I teach my classes, I tell people that I always like to look under my embellishments. So don't think of, 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 of your projects as one-dimensional. They're always dimensional, so you always want to look at what's under it. I do. When I when I when I go and um, 
see people's projects, I like to dig under the flowers and see if there's anything hidden. So, it's always fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put some hot glue on the foam squares just to make sure it stays. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on there. In the middle of the clock there. I know, dirty fingers, I'm sorry. <laughs> Remember that one large pebble I told you guys to save? We're using it now. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, glue that on. I'm going to put it on there. So I'm going to just put a little bit of hot glue on there and I'm going to press it down onto the resin. This is what it looks like so far. Look at that clock. Isn't that amazing? I like the way that looks. It looks pretty cute. Okay, so now I'm going to work with my roses. My fabby, fabby roses. And I'm going to go ahead and use those to kind of complement everything that I have going on here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and glue some basically everywhere. Anywhere that is needed. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them into the little nooks and crannies. I really like these interlude roses because they're already glittered. So you don't have to worry about glittering them. Even though that's also fun, but, you know, in case you're in a rush, it's always fun to have them kind of glittered. Some of these leaves are really tough. So I have to kind of cut them with scissors. I'm mailing all of these to carry, by the way. Okay. Okay, just rearrange those. Pretty flowers. I think I need one up here next to my clock there. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to put some right here. I think it needs one right here. What do you guys think? right here and then I think what needs one over here on this side just to balance it all oh my god when have you seen green flowers in winter I mean green leaves sorry in winter you've never seen green leaves in winter Everything's white because there's snow, right? So don't feel bad for the leaves. I'm sure Carrie will find good use for them. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to move these over. I'm going to take some of these leaves. These are really pretty leaves. Look how pretty they are. They're really nice and glimmery. See, these are my kind of leaves. You know, Prima thought about me and they made those, so they're awesome. 
I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in there. Just different, different ones everywhere. Yeah, but the evergreen leaves are pretty. These are like bright in your face green. But anyway, to each their own, right? I'm gonna cut these in half. Some of them are pretty big. Um, let's see. I think I want another one up here. Maybe one of these long ones in here. Yeah, that would look cute. Hmm, let's see. Where else do we need leads, guys? I think we may need one here. What do you guys think? Okay, we have to move this one here, this pebble, because our title will not fit. Okay, this is what we have so far. We have all of our flowers, we have our leaves, really cute and pretty. Okay. I think we're good on the leaves, unless you guys can spot another spot that we may need one on. Yeah, there we go. Can I just stick one in there? Okay. So I think we're good on the leaves. Now we're going to go on our banner. Banner parts. Banner fun. We're gonna take um, five of these. One, two, these are super cute. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna take some um, more gesso. I could just use what was left on my brush, but I could also use what's left on the lid of this. And let me take my mat again. And I'm just gonna go ahead and um, give it a dry brush. Just kind of make them a little bit white. You don't wanna cover up all the words. So if it gets too much, just use your finger to kind of brush off some of that excess. Okay, a couple more. Huh? Challenge? What challenge? Can't remember. I have short-term memory loss and long-term memory loss, so you guys may need to remind me of what challenge we're talking about. Okay, they look good. Mm -hmm. 
you know, the little banners. Just kind of whitewash them. Nothing major. I have a question. Oh, the challenge. Oh, that challenge. Oh. Well. Am I the only one that's participating? Because that's not fair. I, I, I could almost see Carrie sending me just a big box of leaves. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I have um, some twine. I'm going to just thread this through the little banners. Um, just go ahead and thread all five of them. Hey, that's not fair. I don't want to be just the only one. We do have all the Prima, um, Bible Prima educators do it. Oh my god, this is too cute. You guys are too funny. Okay, I'm just threading the, the little banner here, leaving some space in between. My string is kind of falling apart here, so let me just get some glue. Okay, let me finish threading this through here. Yeah, I would probably cry first to carry before I can rock it. I could probably cry for a few hours. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if you guys want me to cry. Um, that might be a bit. mean something you guys may not want to see okay look at this cuteness now we're gonna just go ahead and um, put this on top here I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put a little dab of hot glue on there for the string Just so it stays. And then I'm gonna put the other one over here on this side. I put a little bit on the flower. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut off a little bit off from there. And then you can just go ahead and rearrange it if you want. Um, actually, I might just stick a little bit of glue here. Just so it stays in place. Okay. Cute, right? You could even move the little banner to be on top of the flower, and that might look a bit better. Just like that. Okay. And a final touch here. We're going to be using some of these Prima Crystals. I'm just going to put them all over. These are my favorite crystals ever.
What, Cass? You don't like the script flower? It's so pretty. I think once you put it on with everything, it just looks pretty. But, okay. I'm putting the little crystals on top of the pebbles, but you can definitely put them on the actual book itself, which I am going to do in just a second. I'm gonna take some of the crystals and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on there, trying not to burn my fingers. I'm gonna put some on the actual book. You do need to put a bit of hot glue because the adhesive will probably not stay. I love these crystals, they're so pretty. Okay, I think those may be enough crystals there. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think we need more crystals? Guess you can never have too many, huh? Gonna put some one right there. Okay, I think that's enough. And those are the crystals there. Hi, Anna, how are you? Okay, so now for our final little thing that we have um, is our title. I'm gonna put our title. And it's just gonna say DEC, which is December. Um, Cause now I see this alphabet is a bit large. Gonna add a little bit of hot glue onto this little guy. Just adding the word DEC, which stands for December. Thanks, Laura. Okay, adding the C. Okay. And then I just wanna add um, a little tiny crystal in there just to kind of show that the word has been abbreviated. one's tiny. Should have picked a bigger one, but okay. There we go. Look how glimmery that is. Simply love it. Now we're gonna put it back together. 
I move this hot glue gun. I'm gonna throw these. Oh, sorry. I'm not gonna throw these away. I'm gonna send them to Carrie together with my foam square leftovers. She may use those since she's so creative. <laughs> that was my evil laugh. Um, let me get my little things here. Fold it back. Then carefully, you're going to want to put these back in there. Okay. Then the other ones. No, I didn't want to spell out the whole December. That's the way I had it in the original. Because it's too long of a word and everybody knows that it's for December. I hope. Okay, I'm going to pull these in. Being very careful because it's still fresh, so I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to untie a nice little bow on the side. Cute little bow. I really like this ribbon. It's cute. Just like that. And there you have it. Your December album. Filled with lots of Prima goodies. Beautiful ribbon on the side. And ready for your memories. Ready for all your photos. Christmas photos and all that good stuff. Okay. So here's the original. Of course one looks fatter than the other. <laughs> Because this one already has stuff in it. So these are the albums. This is the original. Kind of looks the same, huh? Turned out pretty, pretty similar. All right. Well, there you have it. And if you're going to join me um, December 31st, I'm going to be doing part two of this book, which is the inside. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a lot of the leftovers we had in the front. Okay, um, a lot of the leftovers we had from the front inside. So we're going to be doing a lot of pages, really cute pockets, just fun, fun stuff. Okay, so, ooh, the camera doesn't like that. Okay, so let me pan this up now. Hello, hello. So yes, here's the book. Let me show you guys, maybe it looks better front. It's the one we made today. And here's the original. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for coming. I had so much fun. And I have a few announcements um, before I go. And thank you, thank you. Yes, make sure to come on the 31st. We're going to have the second part of this book. Um, hopefully I have my Christmas photos already. But, um... A few announcements. Sorry, I was trying to read and think at the same time. <laughs> that doesn't work. Next show is Jamie, um, December 12th at 6.30 Pacific Standard Time. She's going to be showcasing her brand new Bloom Girl stamps. Those are um, brand new stamps from CHA, so you guys are going to get to see um, those new stamps. Um, remember, Art Venture Canada, April 11th to 13th. Um, Cornwall, Ontario, Canada, East Coast. So I know a lot of you East Coast friends have been asking for an art venture, so that's a great opportunity. 
all-inclusive weekend including accommodations, meals, goodie bags, and more. Um, six amazing classes by Lee Moore, um, Jamie, and Carrie. So you'll know that Carrie's going to create an amazing project with a lot of those green leaves, okay? For you leaf lovers. Um, project samples are coming soon. Um, limited spots available. Book now for only $50 down. And check out the event on the Primo Marketing Flowers fan page under events section. So we do have an events page um, there that you can go ahead and check for all the updates. If you're going, you can say you're going. Um, all that stuff. And then um, Art Venture California is coming up. I cannot believe how soon it's coming. Um, it's going to be in Anaheim, January 8th and 9th. Um, 2014, of course, and six amazing teachers, Anna, myself, Natalie, Steph, and Jamie, and Lee Moore. Um, it's all exclusive classes, um, and amazing experience for everybody. Um, only a few spots left. I know we have less than 20 spots left. Um, I don't remember how many, but, um, there's little, little spots left. And, and we already showed a lot of sneak peeks on the website. Um, sorry, on the Facebook page. We, we, we showed a lot of the sneak peeks. Um, so if you guys haven't checked those out, it's very exciting. A lot of new projects and a lot of new um, uh, new products. Sorry. See, I'm like... And it's Karen's birthday um, for our venture. So that's amazing. So yeah. So that's that. And I also have a very special announcement um, to make before you guys go. So we had a lot of people asking for this, and I'm very excited to say we're going to do it, um, and we're, it's coming soon, so just stay tuned for the, you know, when we announce it, but um, we're going to be doing, you ready, a warehouse sale. Yay! How exciting is that? So we're going to be doing a warehouse sale. It's only going to be $45 plus shipping, and you're going to get, look at $250 worth of product. And look at all that stuff you get. You get it. You get trinkets, you get flowers, you get stamps, you get wood tickets, you get paper. You get all this stuff for $45. A Prima Warehouse sale. And you guys get to find out about it first before anybody else. So this is coming soon. Um, I'm, we're working on it. Um, we're going to announce it soon. And you guys will find out about that and and this is a perfect christmas gift if you guys haven't shopped for christmas for your scrappy friends this is a very good gift to give um to your friends or family okay and look at all that stuff you're getting so many pretty things flowers trinkets i handpicked all of them so you know you're gonna get good stuff <laughs> Okay, so yes, you will be able to order this online. This is going to be an online thing. So you'll be able to order it online and it'll be shipped to you. Okay, so you get $250 worth of product for $45. So that's over like 85% off or something like that. So um, make sure you guys check out the Facebook and all that stuff. That's going to be coming soon. And yes, there will be international shipping and there will be domestic shipping so it's open for all of our friends we don't want to leave anybody out so i will get you the guys details soon um it should be um posted sometime um soon <laughs> so anyway um well thank you so much if you guys have no more questions i'm gonna get going because it's lunchtime and yeah it's a perfect gift you know, if, if you guys haven't shopped for yourself or for your friends, it's a perfect gift. Um, you get too much stuff. Um, and yes, Cass, um, there is shipping. I don't know how much it'll be. Um, any chance the warehouse is open before our venture? Um, I, from what I heard is we're gonna, we, we're gonna possibly open the outlet the week of our venture. So you guys may be able to come and shop, but I don't know yet. So we'll let you guys know soon. Um... I'll go ahead and um, let you guys know and post it. Um, we are going to announce uh, the warehouse sale, but I wanted you guys to know first about it. So we are going to announce the warehouse sale soon on Facebook and on all of our media. Okay? Any more questions before we go? You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Yes, thank you, Carrie. You're an awesome mod. And I'm going to get going now, guys. Um, thank you, and bye, Jerry. Oh, Pam is having a car at our venture, so that'll be exciting. 
De nada, Lisa. Thank you. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and um, leave you guys and make sure you guys tune in on Thursday, okay? Have a good one.